All right, this is your master mechanic, Gio. Uh, today we're gonna show you how to align a timing chain on a Mercedes-Benz 2003. It's a 2.6 liter a V6, and like I showed you guys earlier, the V6 and the V8 are the similar engine, same uh, practical, basic uh, maneuver that you have to do that's gonna align all the timing chain and and. Uh, you know what I'm trying to, trying to say. Anyway, let's get started. All right, as you can see, this is the car here. I had to remove the engine with the transmission, which is easier for those who doesn't know. It's easier to remove the engine with the transmission. I had to replace the timing chain. Now we're gonna show you the basics uh, alignment for that timing chain. This is your right timing, uh, the right uh, uh, cam. To the right, the cam to the left, crankshaft, balancer, the four copper plates one, two, three, and four. This will be the first video on YouTube showing you how to align a timing chain for Mercedes Benz V8 and V6. They are the same exact. Unless it's a dual overhead cam, but this one is a single overhead cam. As you can see here, this is the right side. Showed you the mark. Let me see. Uh, uh, all right. You're gonna see it says R this on this side, and here you can barely see it. It says left, and the arrow is pointing right in the middle of the copper plate between the two pins. Alignment for the timing for the balancer, which the marks is in here, is aligned directly. Same as for the crankshaft. This is the crankshaft, and this is the the key on the crankshaft. And remember, guys, once you to make sure that you had done the job the right way, you need to put the you need to turn the engine 14 times, 14 times clockwise, which this will go away. And then after 14 times, it should go back to the same exact mark. All right. Remember the loops inside. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get something to show you. That right there. It's all the way down in here. Facing the facing the balancer on the left side exact thing here as you can see right there facing the balancer usually you gotta have the tools which is gonna lock the it's kind of a fork you put it in here it locks the the cams on both sides and remember everything gotta go back and match up here now this is the engine you see on the ground by the time I'm done with it well actually I had to remove the whole engine because it's easier due to the to the bottom you cannot remove the bottom because it's sitting right on top of the cross member it's easier like I said to everyone it's easier to just remove the whole entire engine with the transmission that's gonna save you hours and hours and a lot of aggravations from removing the transmission uh, bolts which are in the back very hard to get because you got the firewall right there and the firewall is not easy to work your way around all right the master mechanic Geo if you have any questions uh, just go ahead you know leave me Leave me your questions, uh, I will reply as soon as I get a chance and I will check it time to times. Alright? Remember again, right there, right there, right there, right there, you turn it 14 times. After the 14 times, it should go back again to a line. Thank you. I'll see you later.